Ham and cheese, Bob. Is it ham and cheese? Get that in the year. Yeah. Yeah. Ham and cheese, Bob. No butter, no butter, no nothing. <laughs> so what did you do? I went up to some, someone's door and put a sledgehammer in. The three years and three months. Being sent on from GBH went out. Same shit every single day. Don't feel like a human being. Man's all in place so far. Ah, there's my wank bank. <laughs> Sir, how are we? Let me know true. I'm only joking. Like a spider's where once where and you can't get out. Every arm has a past. That's her favourite side, right, Jeremy? Oh, well, that's the first time I've drunk that in like fucking six years or so. <laughs> sort of, oh, God. See how you get your freedom taken off you and you don't, you, you don't know what your freedom actually is till you come in the jail. Like, you start to appreciate your stuff far more, like. Hyde Bank in Northern Ireland houses young offenders and some who are awaiting trial. I bring stuff in between the rest of the jails. It's as you. Most of these inmates are aged between 18 to 21. And a barbecue, lads, three sausages. Their offences range from theft to murder. Like, is this the documentary you are doing? Yeah. What's it going to be called? Which thing it should be called? Costa del Haybank. Costa del Haybank. It's all they can't do. about crime every day of our lives, so much so that we become sanitised to it. My name's Stephen Nolan, and as a local broadcaster, I hear people sometimes suggest that prison isn't working. Most people who go to prison are repeat offenders. If you have repeat offenders, then you have to sort of say, well, is prison, is it a deterrent? Is this the one I'm coming on to? Some people want prison to only be about punishment. If you won't do an interview... Honey, I open the door. I don't have a key. Adam! Adam, open my door here. But with over half of prisoners reoffending within a year of release, others believe rehabilitation is key. Going on there, Hyde Bank Prison uniquely rebranded itself a college. But some ask if this focus on education and training is too little, too late. Yeah. Oh, it's funny, it's funny. You two have to be broad. Oh. <laughs> there has to be some bloodline between you two, like... Yeah, when I was out, you remember I was out doing our job, man? Some boy from Hanover called that's where you came from. <laughs> 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 you remember I went to Belfast, 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 Hey man, well done. Hey man. Doing my level 10 barbering. Hopefully get out, have a job and barber sitting there for me. I have a wild addictive personality, you know what I mean? See inside, do something or tag something, I can't get enough of it, you know what I mean? I was flat out taking that space, leads like a zombie, so it does. I was on that deck with that for months and months and months. And came in here like a skeleton, cheekbones, pure, show sticking right out, like a complete state I was. Now I'm off all that, just training away, keeping the head down. I says I'm like doing jail, like, recovery's 
completely different ball game, you know what I mean? 24 hour lockup and all that bollocks. Your head would end up going, I don't know what I would do, to be honest with you. Locked behind, looking at four balls all day. The balls in my court to fuck up, you know what I mean? They're doing everything they can for me. It's just whether I want to take it a half measures or do at a hundred percent full steam ahead. And that's what I plan to do. The only car do I ever done is on the Evan Place, to be honest with you. Call me Shane, you know. Well, the gym let them wait, they were squatting down. We put a shard it, you know what I mean? While I was eating my dinner, the, um, they were calling me Shady, I didn't know who it was, and I just turned around and fucked the whole dinner around. Trust you, that's all. Thanks. Oh, I can't wait. That's next week, so it is. I know. I'll be back. You said that last time you were on the week later. Yeah, that's the last time I haven't been. <laughs> I could tell the staff how to do their job when happening in this place that many times. I'll be glad to get out. I hope try my best not to come back in. But it's going out into the open world and it's just not trying to repeat the actions and the stupid stuff that you've done. There's positive sides and there's bad sides to coming in here, but there's the positives outweigh the bad sides, I would say. Once you need it, it'd be nuts. Oh, I can't wait to get it. It is. Friday, it's Friday. Yes. She's going to get stuck there, Ruth. <laughs> Where are you going when you get out? Where are you living? Don't know, it's your house. It's a matter to get back to me. It's your man to be getting one yourself. Oh, sweet. Mm -hmm. Where? I was thinking South, like it. South Belfast is a bit more neutral. Oh, aye. South's actually sweet, but apparently it's high points. What do you mean? Like, housing points. Not you right. death threats, but don't you? Who? Hey. You? Nah. Uh -huh. Nah, see, we're fucked. People with death threats get like 300 odd points, we only get 140. Not bad. No. I'm not pretty open, tough air, but I'm not tough air, but I'm not tough air. I'm not tough air, but I'm not tough air. There's more bats, hardly bats, but there are bad meals on them. Ah. You got a punch on me? Oh. This is a bad boy. I've got more shots on me, um, and it's going on. No. It's going on, and it's good. Being threatened with murder. No, it's not going on, and it's going on, and it's going on, and it's going on. Just a monster. Just the monster. I don't know what that's a different word. This male friend of Stu Clarkson. But they've been looking for The paramilitaries must frighten you then. They don't. Fuck them. Well, they're much bigger than hiding behind a mask and shooting someone. I think they're far faced. Does that not mess you up up here? I'd be sure. I'm not even going to stop that guy. In what way? That's a life as well for over here. It's over there. I was going through bad times, so I got bad times, and got this for my dead man who committed suicide. And I have that one. 
Well, start one off. It's mine, I cry later. Just use my night and make sure everyone thinks you're you're sweet and you're happy and, and when you're when you're when you're by yourself you just let it out and cry to yourself. I find it's weakness when other people know she cry. I wanted to just take the easy way out when I first came in. Did you try to kill yourself in there? Oh, I did try it once. What did you do? I uh, tried to hang myself and cut myself and I got put in the op, op what room is it? Ob's room. Oh, the Ob's room where there's a camera up in that corner of it and it's constantly watching every movement and you're in like a big bodysuit thing. You just don't mind if I spark a fag up? No, you work away, it's your place. Oh, no, I'm asking if you're all right, but Do whatever you want. Sure. I was only like eight stone when I came in here. Eight stone? Oh. Uh, what drugs were you on? Uh, alcohol, cannabis, buds, blues, meth, coke, A's, ecstasy, MDMA. What age were you on drugs from? For about nine. Oh, come on. Sure it was. Took my first bucket when I was nine at my cousin's house. Ah, fuck. And I thought I just ran out of control for a month. Why was your mum and dad not saying stop? Because like something happened, the words saying stop, but something happened to me when I was a child. My mum tried to wrap me up in bubble wrap and keep me in the house and I, I, I was blaming it was their fault when it really wasn't their fault. Because I was sexually <coughs> abused when I was a child by someone on the way to school, so I blamed my mum and dad for it. And it was nothing to do with him and I only got my head around, around that in the last few years. How old were you when? Seven. Fuck oh off, man, I didn't even know that. It's my head. It just shows you how cruel of the world it's like, darling. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. Like, breaks you down, like, I wasn't right for years, still not right to this day, like. But it's not my fault, he has to live with the guilt he done it, like. But I have to live with the shame of it, basically. So you've nothing to be ashamed about, you but didn't do anything? Uh, I'm a boy, but like, you know what I mean? Uh, it's just dirty. You wouldn't w w wish that you worked on me, like That's that. it, you said it. You wouldn't, you really wouldn't. That's... You later, I guess. Oh, I mean, yeah. And was it from that that you started getting involved in trouble? Oh, just, I was a good wee boy to help up the audience. I always said to my mom, and she was like, yeah, oh, you just spiraled out of control once after that happened to you. I didn't like touching myself when I was a child. No, I had to go to the trauma centre and all and speak about why I don't like pain and why I, don't, why I was trying to cut myself, my willy off and stuff. So what were you trying to do? Cut my penis off, because I just didn't like touching it, because another boy made me touch his, and I didn't like just didn't like it. Hmm. What are you thinking? No, I'm just thinking anyone who would say it probably thinks I'm a wee scumbag or something. And are you? Nah. I'm actually not. You frightened? Of what's what? Life? Future? Oh, I, I don't know what I'm going to do with myself when I get out. Like, you're probably be really fucking floating cars by the time I get out. Specifically. Not specifically, specifically. No, man. Go ahead, I'll understand. Professor Taylor, now what other courses are you doing here? Yeah, Mars. You should tie it here. Loads of it, yeah. Loads of it. Some short, some long. Use it. Get your Mars in English. What sort of do you want to here? I'd love to be a porn star. <laughs> Have women bringing me champagne. Come on, let's go and cheers. I'm being late. Sorry. Sorry. Am I on your way? Yeah, all right. Camera spot. Up in the land, you have wee common boxes. Yeah. 
And he's ever anybody ever here for a week coming to Yes, no. my dad was Sammy on Saturday. It's staggering. <laughs> What am I about to be doing here? Pie charts and bar charts? Yeah. Skills and all that there, man. It's alright, it's only my legs back here. Not that yet. It's just a load of nonsense. Salad? Happy days. That one's a wee bit bigger. Frank. My name's Josh. My background, obviously, my football career has been staying at Rangers, getting released from Rangers. So dealing with my father at a young age, up and downs, is, was very tough. But thankfully, I had my father help me at a young age and guide me. Football is my, I love the turn to turn up. If anything's going bad for me, I love to go out and play on the pitch, 90 minutes of freedom, enjoy it, and it really lets off a few shackles. What's the teams, Rangers versus Celtic, or what is it? Beach versus Cedar, let's go. Ready? Is this too tight? What a goal that was. Have you played before? Oh, I've played before. Awesome goal. Who'd you play for? For a long, Texas like for. Northern Ireland, no, like. You played for Northern Ireland? Yeah. What, what age? 16. You can tell? You can tell you, you've played like. Mike, how's the County Accents program to watch? Right, County Accents? How'd it go for you? Stop playing with my dad, mate. Right. Just stop going to the top. Not, not continue, try and go. Yeah. Institute? Yeah. Right. I'm sure I played against you, no? No? Mm. I think I played against you years ago. Probably years ago, man. He would have been all money. That's why he packed it in. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, where's my plate? That there's your fucking chili plate. Yeah, it's only sandwiches, bro. Is it? Oh. What's in them fucking? Is there salad in it? I don't know what's in there yet. Let's see this. Monstrosity. <laughs> ham and cheese, Bob. Is it ham and cheese? Is it? Get that in there, yeah! <laughs> I'm gonna have to eat that No butter, no right. butter, no nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Stinking boys, what? Same shit every day in here, like, the same shit. The same people. Brown shot or mint, will Blue brunch or two? Forgot you're allergic to work. I'm still in Brooklyn and tagging. Had the tutor with a boot and go through it. Was angry at him. Trying to make a fool out of me. So I had him with a boot, but I regret it now, like, because I was doing well attack. Mark, this is My room. the king of the travellers. <laughs> <laughs> What's all them stains on there? Yeah. What are those, dude? She's the nicest, uh. I'm saying she's not that. Yeah, she is. I think her. Yeah, her. Her, her house, her. She's a bit chonky, but like... Chonky, but funky. Nice bit of meat. Yeah, chonky, but funky, mate. Brunettes all the way, lads. Sleep with a blonde, Mario brunette. That's what you want. One, three. You know some of these guys, do you? Well, I know yeah. most of them. <laughs> Do you know what quest? Where what? I work in here? Yeah. Where they print the t-shirts now? They're like funded by the lottery yeah. or something. They can give you grants for like... Everything. Everything, man. Basically to keep you out of jail. Just Probably. to keep you right, basically? Oh, I keep you straight and arm. They're, they're offering to pay for your education. I'm not trying to get all the time. You should, man. It's fuck. It's lethal, man. It's definitely doing the barbering, like... When you get out? Oh, 110 or something, man. You open a wee barbershop? Fuck sick, I wish, man. Great See, if I get flat out stuck in the barber, man, that'll be me sweet. Hot towel shaving, out sauna. Yeah. Sunbed. Yeah, okay, sunbed. <laughs> Any of the tobacco come up yet? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
very much institutionalized. Not institutionalized, but I'm used to this environment. I'm used to living in a car home with six, seven other wee lads. I used to get very, very angry because of them situations, but there's that many people going, you're always going to be in jail all your life, you're not going to have kids, you're not going to settle down, you're not going to have a full-time job, you're not going to be qualified, you're not going to do this, you're not going to do this. I'm slowly but surely just taking the box. I've done this, I've done this, I've done this, I've done this, I've done this. And then eventually I'm just going to go, fuck you. I'm not going to feel, I'm going to prove you wrong. Sweet, you keep yourself busy, sure you're up here eating all sorts of crap. <laughs> <laughs> Some people are telling me it's quite a nice life in here. Some people don't know any other leaf in here. It's sad, but that's just reality in here. <laughs> Just chips? Oh, yeah. That's in the jail, can you? It's no life for anyone to live. Once you're in it, it's very hard to get out of it. It's hard to break a cycle. Oh, you're going to have to get out of here. Yeah, I'm going to have to get out of here. Yeah, Just about the same place that is there. First read. You stretch the bollocks out of that. I'm trying to shoot you. I'm going to get it all redone again. I'm going over it all now. Black ink. Mm. I'm going to eat this. You're a lie. I'm scared. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm going to mop out in my room. Sweet. More dirt comes off the fucking brush. Fuck shit. Shit, it's been all this long, man. My room's shit, nah, isn't it? Compared to my last room, like, my head's away. What did I get moved for again? What did I get put up B3 for again? Oh, oh, I fuck sick, uh. Well, I fuck sick, eh? Well, good. Some boy got bothered, man. Because, uh, a few other boys didn't, like, tell the officers, basically they didn't tide, because they didn't tide, they got back house. But you can't tighten in this place, like, fuck sick, you mad? Fuck, I don't even care. Mm -hmm. It's like the night before Christmas, because you know I'm getting out. I was originally charged with attempted murder. Keep it building up and building up, and just explodes, and you don't know what you're going to happen now. Morning, all of all morning, all of 